Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do an inverted flash effect with keyframes and inverting. So I have this clip on the timeline, and in order to get to the invert effect, you just want to open up the effects panel on the right hand side, and then you can just search for invert, or you can find it in the video effects folder under the channel folder. So when I click and drag this onto the clip, you should see it pop up in the effects control panel. And it's pretty simple. You only have two options really to adjust. You have the channel option, which is what channels are we inverting? So this is your classic red, green, blue invert. It might look familiar to you. However, you also have some interesting and fun ones like just inverting one color channel, like just the green color channel, which will give us this nice neon purple and green effect most of the time. And when we combine this with keyframes, with the second effect here, which is blend with original, we can get some pretty cool flashing effects because going zero to 100 can create some cool looks. So again, you have all these different options to invert each different section. So like you can invert the hue or invert the lightness, play around, see which ones look cool for you. There's about a dozen of them, but let's stick with these basic ones. Let me invert the green color channel. All right. So when we're working with keyframes, let's go to the start of the clip and let's turn on the stopwatch or animation icon here so that we can enable keyframes. So on the very first keyframe, let's start it at 100% and then let me arrow over about five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And then let's make it 0% blend, which means that the invert effect will show through. And then let's arrow over five more times. So one, two, three, four, five and let's take it back to 100% blend. So what we'll get is a quick flash of invert. Now let's highlight these last two keyframes, press Command C to copy them, and then move over and paste them over a couple times, and then we'll get a couple flashes without having to recreate them. And that'll look like this. So a kind of cool effect you can use, or you can slow it down if you don't want so many quick flashes, you could just do one long flash by stretching out the keyframes. And if you want to get even more crazy with it, you can toggle the stopwatch or animation icon to add keyframes to the channel effect. And then you can go back to the beginning and you could start with, let's say the green channel, and then you can switch channels that you're inverting midway through and you get some cool effects because you can keyframe switch to different ways to invert. But do remember, it's not going to smoothly switch between the different channels. It's going to be more of an abrupt flash or hit. So I created a few different switches between green, blue, and all that. Now when I play it, you'll see it creates a really interesting, almost twitchy or glitchy color inverting flashing effect. So that's the invert effect. You could use it in real basic ways, or you can use it with keyframes and create some really cool, interesting effects. If you guys like this tutorial, definitely leave a like on it below and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all future videos. You can follow me on social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that at Justin Odi Show. If you guys want to send me a link for video examples and things like that, YouTube kind of blocks link comments. So it's easier to just send them on there and it'll let you stay up to date with what I'm doing. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my channel for more and I'll see you next time.